everyone welcome to this very first video of tech learnings today we are going to implement jacoco which is a code coverage tool available for us in a sample java application which i have already created over here also we are going to see the eclipse plugin ecl emma how we can use it for code coverage so let's get started let me first take you through the code portion of this application code coverage class containing main method start method and stop methods containing the sysout statements and start method is returning start and stop is returning stop as a string the code coverage test class two unit test cases two methods test one and test two test one is invoking the start method of your code coverage class and comparing the return string with start same way for your method test two. So there are two test cases in this class. Now moving on to pom.xml. So we have let's go to the top, add it to the dependencies, j unit dependency, then j4 unit. Okay. Then we will compile your source target 1.7. In the plugins, we have added Jacoco Maven plugin with the version of 0 0.7.9. And then the configurations, rules, counter complexity, cover ratio, and minimum 0.0.5. .0 this is a configuration parameter. I will get back to this value in the later part. That what does this mean? Okay, so let's first clean our project so that target folder is empty. Fine. Let's try to now do Maven install. Our test cases got executed. Two test cases with zero failures, zero errors, and zero skipped. So let's go inside the target folder. Inside target folder, we have site folder, Jacoco, and we have a file index.html. Let's try to open it with the web browser. So this is the view which Jacoco is providing to us with missed instructions in our basically this package code.coverage.demo. There are missed branches since there are no missed branches right now. So and there are in fact no branches. So it is any the cyclomatic complexity, the number of lines, the methods, the classes. There is only one class so it got executed zero missed number of methods four methods out of these two got missed now uh, there might come a doubt in your mind that there are four methods written over here but our class is containing only three methods right so which are those two methods which did not get execute so the jacoco the answer is jacoco is considering your constructor of the class as a separate method so the main method and your constructor did not execute so that's why we have two missed methods the total number of lines in our class is uh, eight and uh, out of which four are missed right now our package is containing only one class fine the complexity uh, four out of which two are missed since I said there are no branches, so any missed instructions, the coverage is 52%. So let's click here and go inside. So inside our demo package, we have only one class, so it's only single element here. Let's go in a bit more detail. There are four methods in the class. The red bar is saying 0% coverage means the main method did not execute in any of the test cases. Similarly for the uh, constructor since we did not create the object of the class the constructor did not execute so it is also having 0% coverage. Start and stop 100% coverage means all the uh, instructions which were there inside the start and stop methods they got executed perfectly with 100% coverage then since no branches are there so let's try to first create a branch in one of the methods inside start method let me add index equals to 10 
and if let's say x is 1 print something let's try to print let's say 1 to know more about the branches uh, what exactly is a branch and uh, in, in brief I tell you that uh, Jacoku considers your if statements and your switch statements as branches to know more about it in detail please refer to my blog the link for which I have already provided in the description so let's try to do a maven install again it's fine go to put coverage view now we have missed branches with 50% coverage then the cyclomatic complexity of each of these methods is given which is a parameter uh, which can help you know that how many test cases you need to write in order to uh, get better code coverage for that method and it is also telling uh, complexity one missed one for each of these methods to know again more about it please refer to my blog then number of lines inside each method and how many lines got missed so in each of the methods we can get to know from here then the methods whether that method was executed or not missed one means the method did not execute missed zero means the method got executed okay so this is a uh, view which uh, is providing to us there is one more view if you click on any of these methods let's try to click and see our class is highlighted in different colors so the red color is saying uh, those statements it is telling us those statements which did not execute in any of the test cases your green color are the statements which uh, got covered which executed successfully the yellow highlighted are the means statements which represent your partial code coverage yellow diamond means your missed branches are there and uh, again so this is how you can uh, identify which portion of your code got executed in the test cases which was not covered so this is a really very informative picture which Jacoco provides us again to know more please refer to my blog so this is about Jacoco how it presents us the code coverage now moving on to the Eclipse ECLMA plugin now before we move let's go to the poem and let's see that value so let me try to change this value first to let's say 0.8 complexity cover ratio 0.8 is the minimum let's try to do a maven install again so build is failed so now let's try to see this message rule violated for the maven plugin uh, complexity covered ratio is 0 0.4 but expected the minimum is 0 0.8 now you got it means the your code coverage at least should be 80 percent if it is less than 80 percent the build is going to fail okay so i have set it to five percent so that the build gets successfully created okay so this is the percentage basically so it's a uh, basically a good option that if you are running your test cases and if you want to make sure that your 60 percent of the code is covered in each of the test cases or 70 or maybe 80 so you can set this value okay now moving on to the eclipse eclma plugin so it's simple to install go to help eclipse marketplace then find your plugin E C L E M M A and it says install since I have already installed it. So you can install it. Now when you install it, right click on your project, you will get this option which is coverage as 
so you can get the coverage as a java you can application or a JUnit test so let let's try to execute uh, application as a JUnit test let's try to run it two of the two test cases again executed if you see your test one highlighted statements are highlighted in green means they got executed okay now let's try to see code coverage class you see again the class highlighted in different colors just like the jacoco plugin view but this is now done through eclipse ecl lemma plugin all right so that's it for the code coverage using jacoco so thank you so much for watching this if you like this video please hit the like button please subscribe to this channel of tech learnings if you want to see more stuff and uh, yeah please put your comments suggestions what you liked what you disliked or what you want to see next in the comments section below thank you so much bye